Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Inu series. My name is Pooja Dwedi. Israel has achieved another feat. This is the feat with respect to the launching, successful launching of the, or we can say experimenting and completing the reusable launch vehicle mission RLV Lex. What is this? Let's know about it. On the morning of April 2nd, 2023, Israel and its partners have successfully demonstrated a precise landing experiment for reusable launch vehicle at the astro uh, aeronautical test range from where Chitra Durga, Karnataka. And this is second of the five tests that are a part of Zero's effort to test the series. These are a series of space shuttles or planes and they travel to low earth orbits to deliver payloads and return to earth to be used again because it is it takes a lot of money, effort, research to develop one launching vehicle. If we have a reusable one, it will be very healthy for the financial sector when it comes to ISRO. RLV has performed the approach and landing maneuvers using the integrated navigation, guidance and control system. So this could be asked on films. And this is uh, and an autonomous landing on the ATR has been recorded. With that, ISRO has successfully achieved the autonomous landing of a space vehicle. And that is nearly seven years after the technology demonstration of an RLV. And the first experiment was conducted successfully in the year 2016. So even after a gap of so many years, we could successfully do so. Now, these, this is a part of effort at developing essential technologies for a fully reusable launching vehicle. The RLV TD will be used to develop technologies such as hypersonic flight, autonomous landing, Research flight experiment will be also be done, powered cruise flight and scramjet propulsion experiment as well. Now, in the, in the future, the vehicle will be scaled up to become the first stage of India's reusable two-stage orbital launch vehicle. ISRO's RLV-TD looks like an aircraft and consists of a fuselage, a nose cap as well, double delta wings and twin vertical tails. These are very factual. This could be asked in your examination when it comes to science and tech. The 2016 experiment involved sending a winged spacecraft on a rocket, which was powered by a conventional solid booster, took a lot of space and it's heavy. The spacecraft traveled at a space of Mach, at a speed of, beg your pardon, Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound, when it re-entered the Earth's orbit and it traveled a distance of 450 km and had a splashdown in the Bay of Bengal. Now, ISRO's current project has a selection of materials for the project, such as special alloys are there, composite is there, insulation material for developing RLVTD and crafting parts very complex and demands highly skilled manpower. Then many high technology machinery and test equipments were also utilized to build this. One of the first trials of this was announced by ISRO as far back as 2010. Another pitch was touted in 2015 but due to technical issues, it was buried down. Because ISRO was very much interested in making heavy lift geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle and the high end version GSLV Mark III, so that we could put large communication satellites which weighed 2000 over 2000 kg into the orbits. Now, finally, the first trial of the RLV was conducted on 23rd May 2016. The current test involved the Chinook helicopter of the IAF and that lifted the RLV legs to a height of 4.5 km, then re releasing the RLV. And it was based on a command from mission management computer. After mid-air release, it carried out an autonomous landing. It landed on its own under the exact condition of a space re-entry vehicle landing. That means it is reliable. And that was high speed unmanned precise landing from the same return path. So this technology demonstrator was pretty impactful. And this looked like as if the vehicle arrived from space. Now the first test with RLV TD involved the vehicle landing on the hypothetical runway over the Bay of Bengal. There was no actual runway, but it was hypothetical in the BOB. The LEX experiment involved a precise landing on the runway, so better technology. This mission achieved the final approach phase, phase that coincided with re-entry, return flight path exhibiting an autonomous high-speed landing. That was 350 km per hour. These are all very factual. Three more experiments such as return flight experiment, powered cruise flight and scramjet propulsion experiment. These have to be conducted. Then the last set of, uh, you can say, facts for film. Private space launch vehicle, uh, launch service provider SpaceX. This all started the clamor for the use of, reuse of such launch vehicle. So since the demonstration partially, they demonstrated partially reusable launch 
system with its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rocket since 2015. India thought why shouldn't we also start, you know, we already have the plan, why should we not execute it. SpaceX is also working on a fully reusable launch vehicle system uh, which is called Starship. So with this, the commercialization of ISRO will be very easy. It will also show the world how skilled our manpower is and we will be on the correct path to become a space nation. We already are, but of course, one of the elite members of the space nations. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching.